Okay, we are recording. I'll let it roll for about a minute before I change the uh, zoom settings. That can't be really Okay. <clears throat> Later. Okay, now it's recording. Do you want to stick your finger back there to give a little perspective? Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good blame. It's never hellacious and aggressive, but it's... Uh, That's not like to do on some of these like days. It's a camera in the shot, isn't it? Not close to it.
show you something. That's how. That's the actual view. Uh, we can edit. You can change it and make it look like this. If it'll do it, I'm gonna do it while it's recording. Let me zoom out a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, you can see a you can see a little bee getting on there. Well, let me show you. Hold on a second. I mean, I'll stop recording here in a second. where it does because the right of way actually goes up a little ways from here. It used to go all the way to 15. You can be a star. You can just pee on it. What's unusual about that? Get it, get it about here and I'll open my hand and he'll either sit there a second or jump out. And then, uh, actually, hand's a little too close. Okay. There you go. Is that far enough? Too close. Too close? Yeah. This camera has a... Okay. Uh, hold it right there. Okay. There we go. That's cool. Let me ease him down to the ground and see if you can get him off the ground. See? Are you gonna take a picture? Oh, if you got it. Yeah, I got it. I believe you. It's gonna shoot. That's the one thing about having a torn up area. A lot of critters get exposed for the game. 
you would never see him. Never see him. I don't know where my book is, and I'm not sure how the hell to find it on here. Is that stupid or what? That's me. I kind of get fo I get focused on what I'm doing. I don't really. No, you say something. I'm not. He peed on me when I oh, he peed on you. Yeah. Be ready, I'll have a war. Yeah. See the vetch, the purple. That's non-native, and the Queen Anne's lace. This is non-native. So here's your Illinois bundle grass. A beautiful large sample right in the middle of that, so. And this Hold on up there. This is all basque or something. Well I got two little yellow flowers right over here together. So it's gonna be in one shot. Step away from it.
but just keep going this other direction. Looks like I'm going to take a pan shot of yeah. this plant yeah. and then come over to this area here. Deer track, pretty small deer made that track. And a lot of deer use, deer use this area. Neighbors on 12th Street see it a lot. The uh, it, it, for some of these species that I don't know the names of, I need to maybe put them on there. So if you edit. But if you spray this for Japanese beetles, you kill all the other pollinators as well. Plenty of things would be susceptible to it, so. But you can slow them down by killing them manually. Lauren said when she was a kid in Rye, New York, one of dad's, her dad's neighbors used to give her a money to catch them to kill them by hand so he didn't spray she had a money making deal with that neighbor there were several things she did pennies you know come on after I get a few seconds just take a look Hard to photograph. I've got a few, few decent ones. He's chewing on something. Yeah, there are a lot of varieties of those color variations that are very good. And you see the little grass in the background to the right just a little bit? Not, uh, it's just a tiny, tiny little seed thing. And you see it down. It's just also delicate. Oh, you baby. Yeah. yeah. At least I got a few seconds there of him flying around. I get the flower now. Last year was when I got a good, good one at one of these. Let's see. The 
video is pretty poor when you shoot with this camera. But if you're real familiar, in fact, it's one of the most spectacular. But this is called the uh, sensitive briar. And if you could see real close, it, these leaves fold up when you touch them. They will close. That one just did it. You can just sort of flick on the leaves. And they, they're so sensitive, but if you hold this tight, and when these things get later in the season, these briars on, on the stem will be bigger and more threatening to your little fingers. So uh, makes you feel sensitive. But this stuff, uh, this is where a bloom was, and here's here's some here. But uh, maybe you'll find one still in bloom somewhere. But this is the uh, this is a very beautiful, I believe this is the obedient plant. Mm. Sort of the inside the end of the flower. Beautiful structure. I'll leave it alone. Here's my uh, sensitive bride. You see? Okay. They're, like this. they're not great ones, they're small, but they're. You, the way you're able to zoom up, probably from right over here, you might go just get them from there, but somewhere in here you can see the tips of them are gold. Saw one of my short takes on uh, on his big screen, and like you could see every defect in the skin of my face. I mean, it's just hideous. My God, for a flower picture, a party girl, it would have been spectacular. Although pretty girls probably don't like to be seen on those either because their defects show up. You ever notice every pretty girl's got some defects if you look at it with that, that hand? one the other night. Something lit on me and I whacked him and I didn't need to kill that thing. But we'd catch them, some people would catch them and make little but that particular species that's out here would be uh, indigenous. It's green back up. But uh, this would just be glowing with flowers like it was 07. I got some of the best shots in 08 out here. Well, last year may have been the best, but I was working on a line of campaign. Maybe that. And that's the main flow. Something the mowing guys don't know is they can totally stay out of this wet, wet part and they think they're doing the right thing. It just keeps the water cleaner if it's in the vegetation and standing here. It really looks nasty right now. Instead of these ruts? Yeah, the ruts really. Well, it compresses the soil and, and, uh, and it causes the water to stand on the surface in those ruts. And, not so. I wonder if the Japanese like these beetles here. And if, if, if this is a good light for this, maybe brighten up too much. But
low res, bam, 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 shot from here. I don't know what I'm talking about. But. I have to come, remember to come shoot that when it's in bloom. It just won't mow for a few more weeks. See those two some are trying to bloom. They're real close. We may find some that are blue, but the bugs are really working on. Here is a moth on a on a uh, clover. He's just sitting there with his wings spread but uh oh wait. Damn it, I moved. Now he's on the damn it, damn it, I got him. That's a bug that needs to be eradicated. I'd say if, if everybody poisoned all of those there are, then you kill so many other things that are good pollinators that it's kind of productive. Is that the mama? Pardon? I said, is that the mama? My mama? And on the back side, see there one one smaller one on top of the bigger one? Oh. On the bottom? 
Yeah, that indicates their uh, breeding. Bugs will just be tied up like that. All, all kinds of bugs and insects will be tied up in, in what I'm feeding. And that's a good time to catch them because they're they're pretty interested in what they're doing. They're quite focused. And another word for these is maypop because they really are a lot of southern areas. They're All right, be in blooming in May. Okay. See the thing about this, Bruce is so thrilled because they they uh, quit grazing and mowing on that land out there, and they got all these species to come up like they're out here, and they just the count has gone up over the last two years. Out here, they're dried up already. Those, those little bugs are eating them before they can mature. They eat the seeds, so that's. The, a couple of species live off the of seeds of milkweed, and that's the only time you see them anywhere is when you've got milkweed with pot. They've already they've already been on the plant, and and the. Uh, let's see if I had the backyard those folks have. It would be like this. One of these, uh... Oh, Jan, so... Okay. Got it. Yep. Okay. Uh, but that's dandelion. When you find one of these, it's really. Uh -huh. And when you uh, 
get to stop there on and step in front of you with these seeds and I mean seed pot and these bugs crawling in the hand. You know about that one. Got the right. Okay. Hold it up a little bit. Up. Oh. Down. down. Not, too, not too much. I moved too much. Back. All right. Got it. Okay. Yep. But it doesn't have any pods left. See, the pods have already been eaten off. Or somebody may have come and picked them, see, because I was afraid last year by even saying it was in this area that somebody would go looking for it. Because I've had people, a lady from El Dorado came up to World Peace one, one day and she said she had gotten her grandkids some, some uh, butterfly uh, monarch tadpoles, uh, whatever, grubs, whatever, what's the word, Ooh. anyway, and she needed milkweed plants, she wanted to dig up and take them, and I showed her a few places there, and I said, well, you know, that's all we got here on this part, but way back there we got one, well, it was too thick for her to go after it, thank God, but she was, so if she, if she, she had seen it online, it's where she'd known about the place, and it, if she saw, I mentioned this, she, she was kind of might have walked the whole damn place. And I was afraid it was dug up at one point last year, but they didn't get the roof. Now we want to illustrate how they, how those strips of, Basically, full time right now. But that shows the seed pod and if you had a windy day a lot of that will blow a good distance and these are bone set I believe it's called very nice lady and this still has Japanese things on From a blog, I learned to focus on something with this autofocus and then move the camera to the right so the item in focus is at the top left corner because when you, uh, when you click the Click on the blog to enlarge. I'm seeing. Oh, I got Mike. It's flying away. But you got him. I'm yeah. sorry. I moved. When I moved, he flew away. He may come back to that same spot. Just one time. He has three times in a row. Yeah, he likes it for some reason. 
but look, we're going to get a lot of bees on the. That's good. But the plant, uh, but you see the plant that the button bush down there. You see any bees on it? So out on these button bushes, we're going to get some more. He's back on that same one. He's still on. Now he's moved the foot of the way. Yeah. If we catch him, catch we'll catch him on the flowers out here. We'll they'll stay a little longer. Yeah, I gotta shut up and all done. Huh? Close to it. We can put this under that guy's uh, carport and not have to walk all the way back. Over oh, this rain, that pine tree is enough cover, but it could stop. I think it's okay. very short. Probably just need to go ahead and put up some unofficial shed out here for things like it starts raining. Lauren sometimes over here and she'll be working on stuff and she'll stable it just starts pouring. It gets good and so before she walks off. She gets under the pine tree over there. Or now under the covering maples. Seem like all that big a deal, but when you realize how much the city spends on the square and the botanical garden, Lauren, we're doing it for a living. I can get some audio. Oh, okay. Major audio. I can loop it later. <laughs> 